video we're gonna be making these funky nails today so we're gonna do an ombre and this symmetrical design so this is what I'm starting with you may have seen these nails in a previous video and I took them off so and I didn't even show it in this video because there's so much more that I want to show you um, but I basically removed them for the most part left a little thin layer of gel on and prepped them for a new set of nails so that's what they look like when I remove them and I'm starting off with gel pot clear just to do like a little base coat very thin you don't need a lot of product I honestly had way too much on the brush so I wiped it off on my next finger base coat isn't really necessary but I just like to do it just for my own sanity and so I'm gonna be fitting on a form because I'm gonna be building out the nail and clear and then I'm gonna be doing the ombre so what I do is I put I kind of like fit the form and then I see where my nail kind of like dug into it and kind of make sure that matches up where I want the nail to stick out from cut some little slits cut the, the little like part out so that little triangle out so that the skin beside my nails will fit and so the form will fit nice and snug to my nails so the goal is you want the nail to look as like natural as possible for me I like my forms fitting like extremely snug oh look at that um but for others like not everyone cuts out the sides like i do like that stuff's not always like necessary um like i was trained a little bit differently than than this but i this is the way that i like to fit my forms i love like you can like make like a super super tight c curve without pinching when you when you do nails this way so um, so now I've got my form on and it's, I put it in like a, um, stiletto shape because I am making an almond, almondetto shape nail today. And so I'm going to just kind of start somewhere in the middle, work the product up both sides. And it's going to be pretty thin because I just really just need like a little base layer. You don't want the first clear layer to be too thick. Essentially you want it as thick as like your natural nail would be and um because when you put the the color on top you don't want to be like filing through it and then hitting the clear it would like totally defeat the purpose of the of the ombre so i'm just kind of like walking the product down making sure it's kind of like flush with the nail as, as thin as possible and then close to the shape that i want it to be in and then so now that i've got my extensions made I'm gonna make my ombre color. So I'm using Mimosa from the gel bottle and I'm using some regular hard gel clear. And basically I'm gonna mix these two together. This color, it's already like got a bit of a transparent, like it's pigmented, but it's not like like creamy pigmented. It's kind of like, um, got like almost like a transparent look to it. So oh, I love mixing stuff so I find this to be like really satisfying so um, I'm just gonna mix the two together I ended up adding more off screen but because um, I thought I needed more but I definitely made way too much so I have extra but um, you just want to mix it together as best you can make sure it's not like like streaky that would happen if you have like a creamy color like a white base color um, so that won't really happen with this because it's like um, it's kind of like a clear base color as weird as that sounds so kind of like how I did the well exactly how I did in my last video um, except we're doing this with a color now um, but you just want to kind of put the color down on the tip and then place uh, place it like almost like on the front third of the nail like on the tip of the nail and then use your ombre brush to drag out that color so it's flush and I'm adding like 
a decent amount so that um, I don't have to do it twice. Uh, but honestly, feel free to work in lots of layers if you are going to try to look like this. But here we go. I've got my little ombre brush. I'm just pulling the product down. You don't have to pull it down that far. I noticed I pulled the product down on my pinky and my pointer finger much further than I did on my middle and ring finger. But really, like, you can just, just make it as, like, flush as possible. Remember to take your forms off and gently pinch them and then I don't always cut that part so cut that tab off look at those so now that we've got the orange made and they're fairly thick we're gonna go in with gel pot four so this is like a more nude color I would say it's got more orangey brown tones to it as opposed to the last gel pot three that I use, which is more like pinky nude. So um, you wanna start at the cuticle area, make a thin coat. Honestly, on the rest of the nail, I made it like super, super thin just, and I wiped off most of it because you really wanna highlight that the bright color and then you've got this like nice fade. So I'm working that product on both sides and then kind of coming down the nail. And then I'm just gonna pull the product down and try, and if it's like streaky, just try and pull most of those chunky streaks off. And once I'm happy with how that fade looks, cure it. And then if you kind of look at it from the side, it's not completely like filled in. So I'm just gonna use a bit of clear, even though I may file through most of the clear, for me, it just makes me feel better to know that there's no not going to be like that little dip in the nail where both products meet. I would rather put some clear there just in case and then I'll file it. Make sure my apex is nice and in the right place. And then now... I'm going to come in and do my finish filing. So I'm going to start off with my Panna bit from Amazon. And I'm just going to go in and start around the cuticle area. Which I'll start it in a second. But I just wanted to show you guys what they look like out of the forms. Look at how pinched that is. But it's also got like a lot of product down the side. So I ended up filing most of that off. But... Um, so go around the cuticle area, make it nice and flush, and then make that apex area how I want it to look. And then usually I'll do that on all five nails or ten nails, and then I'll go in with the nail file, do up the sides, get my general shape that I want because I'm doing almond. You'll see I kind of bring it into an almond shape with the filing, and then start thinning it out with the hand file. And I am using a 100 grit file. The other side is 180. I'll usually flip to the 180 side after I've done most of my like bigger work. And then around the cuticle area, I use the 180 side. And then I've got my buffer, buff over everything, make it nice and smooth. So that's what the pinky look like. And that's all of them. I did notice like my middle finger, I, I guess I had a little too much of that nude color on it so it is slightly lighter than the other nails but still looks good can't really notice it once you have the design on it this is lemonade and so this design is um i, I cannot take credit for it whatsoever so um yuri from instagram and i have to link her there um i think it's a sheet but i'm gonna link her instagram um because like oh wow like just wow I'm obsessed with this art right now this nail art it's like all all she does is like symmetrical designs on all 10 fingers and like it looks so cool so like either like an ombre or a french and then like over top of that like a design like this so I can't take credit this is totally not something I made up I'm copying a design and um, so um, about 50% up the nail was just like a straight line with like a really bright color and then um, a purple dot at the end 
And so that's all of them when they're done. And then um, it kind of goes from blue to purple, this like swirl down the nail and it's like um, equal on both sides. So the blue is at the top. So I just kind of like made like a little like hook on either side with the blue. And I didn't even really like wipe off my brush. I kind of just like went right into the purple with it. And tidy it up. And then I just kind of like mix the two together. Doing this on yourself I think is really hard because you can't like seeing it f like head on is and painting head on is very, very difficult. I usually like, turn my hand to one side. So um, I think definitely doing a design like this on, on someone else would be a lot easier. Um, but see, then I went in with the purple and then I'm just kind of like mixing the two together so it fades from blue to purple. It isn't like the most noticeable, but I know it's there and that's all that matters. And that's about as even as I could get them. It's definitely harder to do that, that far side of my nail. So now that I've got them all done, I'm gonna come in with my top coat. I am obsessed with these nails and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the nails and if you like this video please like it and please subscribe if you do like watching my videos as I try to post weekly or every other week um, but here's the finished look I am in love thank you so much and have a great one bye